<coughs> Hi Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. <coughs> Three. Okay. So, I do feel that Aquarius, someone could have walked away in the past in this relationship, okay? They could have walked away, you could have walked away. I feel that there could have been uh, the beginning of something very beautiful in the past here, okay? But this is more of a very practical beginning, okay? So something very practical started in the past between you both here, okay? There could have been a sense of commitment here, but it kind of didn't take off ground, is what I'm getting here, okay? There was a lot of disappointment here. This person right now is in a very low place, low place emotionally, okay? They're not happy right now. They probably, <clears throat> they probably almost feel like everything is over and done with, okay? They feel something is over for good and nothing can be revived or nothing can be retained here. But again, with the five of cups here, this is only their feeling, okay? This is someone who's very depressed, crying over spilt milk, but all is not lost, okay? Is what I'd say. All is not lost here. It's a different thing that this person here feels that there is nothing that can be worked out and uh, everything's destroyed and over and done with, okay? Because they did start, there was a new start of something practical in the past, all right? So if this is a new person here, things kind of fell out with this person. If this is an old person here where you kind of started something more practical and stable in the past, it probably didn't work out here. <clears throat> and the Knight of Wands is telling me that this person here deep down has a lot of passion, a lot of emotions for you, okay? This person here could be a, a player energy, okay? Which means someone here who's very in and out of your life or someone here who just runs from commitment. But overall, I do see that this person could have walked away in the past, okay? Or you could walked away. You could have walked away from this person because things didn't work out. <clears throat> what are this person's intentions towards Aquarius? This person's intentions towards Aquarius. What are this person's intentions towards Aquarius? Damn, Aquarius, this person's intentions are to marry you. What the fuck? <clears throat> Overall, this person here has a lot of love for you. Okay. <coughs> this person loves you to the moon and back. They are ready to go through any obstacles that were coming between you both here. If there has been an ending, <clears throat> if there was a death situation between you both here, if there was a breakup, separation, which I do feel was there, this person wants a reconciliation. They want a rebirth of this connection. If you're still in a connection, but emotionally you guys have just been distanced, then this person here has had a lot of awakening, like a huge realization, okay? And uh, this realization has uh, made them feel that this person wants something long term with you they want marriage with you they want stability commitment and they want a reunion with you here and like i said this person here is ready to overcome any obstacles okay they're like on the loose if the traveling was a problem they're ready to travel towards you uh if you're at a distance here this person wants to come towards you okay but now we have that willingness and determination to make it happen between you and them but definitely commitment on their mind and definitely wanting to take things to the next level. But reconciliation is 100% on the cards out here in their intentions, okay? They may not be talking to you, but they do love you a lot, okay? They love you very, very much, but they just think it's more sensible to keep their emotions to themselves and not open up right now, all right? All right. What are this person's actions towards Aquarius? 18th of the 30th. This person's actions towards Aquarius from the 18th to the 30th. Okay. So, <clears throat> I feel that this person is still um, feeling left out in the cold here. I feel that this person here is kind of overly optimistic also sometimes. Okay, maybe they're very overly optimistic that things will work out between you both here. One thing I'm getting that. The other thing I feel is that this person here does see you as their happily ever after. All right. Uh, they're very optimistic and uh, they want to see the brighter side of life, the brighter side of the connection. They no longer want to focus on the negative aspects of the relationship and they're wanting to get that inner child out in them. Okay. They, they see you as the one for them. They want a lot of happiness and joy and they know that you make them very, very happy. But in their actions here, I do feel that they're emotionally still staying detached or wanting to stay detached here. All right. The Eight of Cups in their actions is telling me that <coughs> this could be a time where they're temporary trying to walk away. Okay. From a connection. <clears throat> which the chariot could also mean that they could be then their intentions are that no matter even if they want the reconciliation they could be trying to move away from you or they could be trying to move on from you <coughs> but 
in their actions for right now they kind of you know trying to stay emotionally detached or they're just walking away from a situation that does not emotionally make them happy here but all this is happening only because a they're not making a decision this person's at a crossroads here they need to make a choice okay a choice between two strenuous stren strenuous decisions okay they're stuck between a rock and a hard place both the decisions have very bad outcomes okay I wouldn't say bad outcomes. It would be more like outcomes that uh, they're not comfortable with, and they know that they are the whole and sole decision makers. And whatever decision they make, they're going to be responsible for the consequences. Which is why they're still staying stuck, and they're not taking a decision about what to do next year. Okay. In their intention, it is to come towards you, want a reconciliation here, but in their actions, they're doing nothing about it. They are feeling very left out in the cold by you. Okay, uh, they probably feel isolated. You've probably blocked them out. They're not talking to you. You're not talking to them. You're giving them the cold shoulder out here. But there is a lack of energy overall. Okay, they could also be going through some kind of temporary financial issues here. But overall, this person does feel left out. They feel very lonely without you. <coughs> and um, I feel they want you to come, go to them, and pull them out of the rut. But if you do that, they're never going to grow up. So stay put where you are, okay? This person needs to grow up if they want what they want with you. I think this person is expecting you to do all the work here, okay? So don't do that. Let them detach for right now. It's just a temporary break, probably. But um, uh, there will be truth. There will be some kind of clarity that you get, some kind of clarity that they will get, or you both will get one to each other, something like that. But the truth of the clarity would probably force them to work away. Okay, maybe you reject them or something like that is also what I'm getting here. But maybe because they don't make a decision is one of the other issues of why they will choose to walk away is because they know what you want and uh, they can't give that to you right now. All right. So that's what I have for you. And I'll see you next time.